had serious high crimes and misdemeanors, when you had serious crimes, it's impeachment. That would happen every 50 years, every 40 years, every 100 years. This was a big deal. They're making it so like, let's do it every, every six months. They've cheapened the process. They've cheapened the process. These people are so bad, the radical left Democrats. And I actually think that Pelosi, who, by the way, by the way, by the way, she has totally lost control. She has totally, it's being run now by this crazy AOC plus three. AOC plus three. Now it's being run by other people. The far left has, has just grabbed that party. It is so sad to see. And she knew what would happen. I didn't, because I didn't figure the polls would go through the roof. They went out today in Michigan, in Wisconsin, in a place called Pennsylvania. No, no. The polls are through the roof. They're called swing states, very important states. We won Pennsylvania the last time, and we're going to win it again, but even bigger. Our polls have gone over the last month. They've gone through the roof. You look at it, take a look at it. It came out today. The Firehouse Poll, the Firehouse Poll. It's an important poll. It was always good. I never looked at it today. I like it a lot. We're up through. Nobody can even believe it. So what Pelosi did, as I said, they do the impeachment. Then right away, let's do USMCA. Right on top of it. You'd think she'd wait like a day. She wanted to smother the impeachment crap. And that's probably what she did, at least to an extent. But any Democrat that votes for this sham will be voting to sacrifice their House majority, their dignity, and their career. Okay? And some of these partisan lunatics have already said that if they fail this time, think of this. How about low IQ Maxine Waters? How about green? How about green? We've green. How about green where he said, we have to impeach him, because if we don't impeach him, we're not going to win the election. This is what we're, this is what we're dealing with. You know, we're dealing with some very bad people. We're dealing with people that don't respect you. And by the way, you know, they talk about the elite. You're the elite. They're not the elite. You're the elite. You're the elite. You got better education. You got better, you got better everything. You're the elite. It always bothers me. They said, the elite. This is the elite. Look at these people, how beautiful. This is the elite. You know who is the elite? You look at those jobs reports where the best in history unemployment for African Americans, best in history unemployment Hispanic Americans, best in history unemployment Asian Americans. You're the elite. You're the elite. But they said they'll do it again because this has been a total bust. They'll do it again. And by the way, the Senate's been so professional, so good, so strong, so solid, just like these gentlemen in the House, so solid. So we have to vote these crazy people the hell out of office. And in 2020, I'm going to work like hell that we take over the House. We have to take over the House. Got to take over the house, Mike. So here are the facts that Shifty Schiff, is that guy the worst? He comes up to a microphone. No, he comes up to a microphone like two and a half years ago. Uh, I have absolute proof that the President of the United States conspired with Russia. Russia? What the hell do I have to do with Russia? By the way, Russia wishes that Hillary Clinton won. They wish. We are now number one in the world in energy. Russia's number three. We're beating now Russia and Saudi Arabia. 
You'd have windmills all over the place if you had crooked Hillary. They'd be knocking out those birds left and right. Those windmills, wah, wah, wah. Darling, I want to watch television tonight, and there's no damn wind. What do I do? I want to watch the election results. Darling, there's no wind. The damn wind just isn't blowing like it used to because of global warming, I think. I think it's global warming. Global warming. No more wind, no more life. The ocean is going to rise one-eighth of an inch within the next 250 years. We're going to be wiped out! Look, I want clean air. I want clean water, crystal clean. I want, and that's what we have at a record level. Our air and our water are cleaner now than it's ever been, okay, with all that we're doing. And we haven't closed up all of our industry, and we haven't closed up our businesses and lost all those jobs. And right now, we're by far the largest economy in the world.